I'm meeting up with Joseph Jams, aka DJ Hans, aka Hansy. So I'm gonna ask him a couple questions. We're gonna spend a couple hours with him and get through his whole routine, what he does to get inspired, see how he makes his beats, and let's get this shit started. The mixing may be my sharpest blade, honestly. Like, I'm, I think I'm better at it than guitar playing or rapping or singing. I really enjoy it, especially when, like, the song's really dope and, like, I don't have to do much to it. You know what I mean? Like, the performance the re in the recording is on point, so, like, it's very light mixing and mastering. Do you spend more time mixing other people's, like, music, or do you spend more time on your own music? Uh, lately, I have been, because I need money. Music is not cheap. And recently, you've been doing covers on Instagram, like, are you sorry? Mm -hmm. It's pretty sick. Yeah, covers really help me. I have to, like, understand how they did it in order to redo it my own way. How do you choose who you're going to cover? Like, you just have, like, a list of people you that one was a suggestion by a friend. I just kind of like look for stuff that's kind of a little vintage, a little older. Because I, I feel like everyone's covering songs that just came out and like, what's the fucking point of that? You don't sample anymore? Like you sample like old, mm. old vinyl or something? I'll sample there? myself. Somebody wants me to sample a beat for them, I'll sample it. It's just like a lot of, it's more paperwork, honestly, because I'm like licensing and registering all my own music. I don't feel like paying royalties or like having to contact people to clear samples. Man, this, this chocolate drizzle. Yeah, it's really nice good. Like chewy, huh? The yeah. almond butter. I didn't think it was gonna get that hard. That's yeah, what she said. that's what she said, yeah. But she was joking. She knew. What would you consider your genre? Alternative, hip, pop, soul. I'm not sure yet. I'm still creating it. It's kind of like a hybrid of yeah. different styles. Yeah, I really feel like the only thing for me to do is like just build my own lane. That's all I can do, because I'm not going to fit in anywhere. Shout out to my manager, Ian, at Cold Press. Be sure to stop by. They just launched a new watermelon juice. It's pretty good. Watermelon jalapeno. You like doing shows? Yeah. I like doing live shows with my guitar and my looper. Like, I'm going to show you what I got in the, when we get back with the looper. I just don't get it Do you enjoy being hurt? I know you smell the perfume The makeup on his shirt You don't believe his stories You know that they're all lies Bad as you are, you stick around And I just don't know why If I was your man, baby, you Never worry about what I do I'd be coming home back to you Doing you right every night You the type of woman that deserves good things Wrist full of diamonds, hand full of rings Baby, you're a star I just wanna show you you are You should let me love you Let me be the one to Give you everything you want and need 
baby, good love and protection Make me your selection Show you the way love's supposed to be Listen, your true beauty's description Looks so good that it hurts Use a dime plus 99 Then it's a shame, don't even know what you're worth Everywhere that we go, they stop and stare Cause you bad and it shows From your head to your toes, you're out of control Baby, you know if I was your man Baby, you never worry about what I do I'd be coming home back to you Doing you right every night You the type of woman that deserves good things Wrist full of diamonds, hand full of rings Baby, you're a star, I just wanna show you you are you should let me love you let me be the one to give you everything you want and need baby good love and protection make me your selection show you the way love's supposed to be let me love you What kind of inspires you to make music every day? The simple things in life, for sure. Like water, grateful for that. Vegan food, I'm grateful for that. Uh, women are inspiring, for sure. My relationships, just good people, like good people that, that, that are around me. Genuine interactions. Stuff I could write songs about that would make people happy. So how did you start? How did you start going into like, from hands to just hands? Um, I kind of just felt that I had hit a ceiling. I, I, I'm, I thought about it, I'm like, I don't think I want to rap forever like that. Especially seeing as how everyone started rapping now. Like when I first started rapping, YouTube was fairly new. I was like one of the first people on there in my area that had a music video at that age. It was like really easy to, you don't have to pay for promotion on Facebook. Like Facebook showed everybody everything. Now it's like all restricted and you gotta pay for shit. And like, I just felt like I had to do more. I had to do, I had to reinvent myself. Separate myself from the rest of the crowd because everyone fucking raps. Everyone and their moms fucking raps now. All right, how do you see music evolving right now? Uh, I, I love the way it's going. Technology has really made it infinite. You could go in any direction and create a sub label or sub, a sub genre of any genre very easily. It's, there's no excuses for not being original. What are top artists you follow or who you listen to? Right now, I'm listening to a lot of Jameson, Anderson Pack, Tash Sultana. Uh, a lot of old school stuff though, still always. A lot of vinyl. SZA album is really dope. I like Doves in the Wind. I think it should have been called Pussy. Because <laughs> they say it so much. Yeah, it's a really good song. Kendrick's dope. I like what he says in there. People lose their mind for the pussy. That shit is true. What sparked that idea to start the podcast? The podcast? Honestly, there's a couple reasons I wanted to start it. My partner who I do it with, Lambert, he's a really smart dude and I feel like he has a lot to say. So I wanted to give him a platform to talk on a lot of things that I feel his perspective would be helpful for people and people would be interested in it. So that's one reason. And also I just kind of want to branch out into different things, you know, like it's really like we're just hanging out. We're just playing records, talking about shows we watch and it, it, it's, it flows really naturally. It's just like us kicking it and we happen to have microphones there. It's just kind of like if the audience is with you. Yeah, you know, yeah, like exactly. Children. Yeah, like our last episode, we're going to start having more people on now too. We had a, a homegirl who wrote a book. Her name's Nikita Kule. So. We definitely want to definitely want to give a platform to other creatives as well. It's kind of like give them some some light, like shine some light on them, right? Yeah, especially if they're doing um, really conscious work, stuff that uh, will stimulate people and inspire people. That's what we're about on the podcast. So that would be kind of like your target audience, people who like want to get some inspiration, want to get inspired. Or yeah, exactly. I I thought about this the other day, like people come up to me all the time or message me and tell me that oh yeah your shit's dope dude props props but like what really the props are cool but what really 
ins like makes me happy is when people are like, oh, you inspired me to do this, or or you inspired me to like, they have something to show me that I inspired them to do. Like that is what I really feel, because I'm like, fuck yeah, I'm paying it forward. Because someone inspired me to do what I'm doing, and I just want to pay that forward, you know? So you're kind of ultimately influencing other people to create something new, right? I, I'm influencing people to influence other people. You know what I mean? So on your free time, I, uh, I noticed that you've been taking a lot of pictures too. Like, it's either you and Rocco or just you. Yeah, Rocco's usually the guy behind the camera for me. Uh, we like take pictures of each other just for Instagram content and like, but we'll edit our own pictures because we both love editing. He's got a really good thing going on with his camera. How did you meet Rocco? I met Rocco because we ended up being roommates a couple years ago. Man, it's already been like four or five years almost. And uh, he had just came down from, or from Oregon or LA. And it was just dope. He was really good people. We made a project together. And it's, uh, he's a lifelong friend that I know I'm gonna continue building with for sure. Good vibes with him always. So all your social platforms, where can they find you? Everything you can find at josephjams.com. Everything is there. The links to the Spotify, the Apple Music, the Twitter, the Instagram, Snapchat, all that you can find there. That's where you get the podcast too, right? That's on SoundCloud? Yeah, you can find the podcast on my website or you can find it on SoundCloud too. So for somebody who's starting out being an artist, like what, what are some few like suggestions, recommendations, or some word of advice? Just remember to work from the inside out. Music, business is supposed to be built around the music. Music business is here because of the music, not the other way around, you know what I mean? build it and they will come and have fun but also be hard on yourself like be rigorous with the way you do it and i think that wraps up this because our food came all right, all right. these vegan nachos look fire thank you. <laughs> thank you all right so i just got back from my day with joseph and we had a pretty nice productive day this is a little tie-dye shirt that i did by the way sorry to get off topic he gave me his badass hat right here Make sure to follow him at Joseph Jams. That's pretty much all his social media, all social media platforms. He's got projects in the works, so make sure to check him out. We did some catching up because it's been a while since we haven't talked. We have worked before. Actually, we have some history because, well, music is where it all started. And then from there, we kind of went our own way. And hopefully you guys like this vlog.